As you guys know, we have a high school. Rearranged itself a little bit last year. We implemented this new WHS 21. What that means for you is, as you heard last year, more opportunities, more real world experience, better preparation for what you guys are going to have to do in the 21st century. So why are you here? Why did you choose the Humanities Academy? You chose the Humanities Academy because you're creative, because you're a thinker, you're a doer, and you're a leader. You're ready to change the world with your vision, you want to make things happen, and you're here to prove you have what it takes. You're here because you're interested in the many diverse electives that the Humanities Academy has to offer, and you're here because you know the Humanities Academy is the best academy, period. How many of you are in the education pathways? How many of you signed up for the education pathway? Raise your hand. So from preschool to college, in any discipline, we can prepare you to change the world from education, public speaking, children's literature, sign language, psychology, and many other electives in the education pathway can help pave the way for you to shape the minds of the future. How many of you signed up for criminal justice or law? Yeah, a bunch of you. All right. You picture yourself as a lawyer arguing before a jury, dazzling them with your persuasive powers, or taking down terrorists in the FBI or Homeland Security. The law and criminal justice pathway will help you get the skills you need to be successful in those pursuits. Electives like theories of violence in American culture, sociology, and legal studies will help get you there. Guys, for uh, journalism and communication, how many of you guys would like to be on TV someday? For something good. Uh, how many of you would like to be uh, on CNN, flying around the world, interviewing people, uh, be a Rolling Stone magazine contributor and interview uh, celebrities, or work for ESPN on Sports Center? Or how many? I see a lot of jerseys. How many Celtics fans here today? How many of you would like to go to every Celtics game for the rest of your life? and get paid to go, and write about the team, and travel with the team, right? Journalism communications, those are the sort of things you can do with that. Classics like journalism, culture and conflict, public speaking, semantics. Uh, how many of you like to argue and have an opinion about something, right? There are thousands of people who get paid a lot of money every single day to argue about sports, movies, music, politics, that's all they do is argue about it. But they have communications degrees or journalism degrees, and they get paid to give their opinion every single day. Who are students interested in psychology and counseling? Yeah. Okay. Who wants to find out why the person sitting next to you does the stuff they do? Who wants to find out why you do some of the weird things you do? What I love about psychology and counseling is it can take what we do every single day in every single situation and it can help inform why we do that. And it can also, the most important thing in psychology and counseling, is that it can help. When stuff goes wrong with people's psychology, psychologists can step in and they can help out. And this is an awesome pathway if you want to make a difference and if you want to understand your world and your people around you. So you might take stuff like psychology, psych and science, you might take semantics, theories of violence, and comedy. Those different electives are going to give you awesome views of this possible pathway. Politics and public service. Uh, if you want to be the sort of person that makes decisions in the future, whether it's working for a political campaign, working on a campaign to uh, save the environment, or a civil rights campaign, or working to change something. Uh, there are classes like political affairs, uh, culture and conflict, civic cultural literacy, uh, AP government politics. These are the people who make decisions who actually get things done. So if you want to be a leader rather than a follower, politics and public service is something you can check out for next year. How many of you have no idea what you want to do? Fine. Alright, a little look large pathway will step in for you. If you don't have a clear idea of what you want to do in the future, but you know you want to do something you love, you don't want to sit behind.
on your boring desk all day making money for someone else, but you want to do something that you're passionate about. The liberal arts are halfway is a way to combine what you love with what you have to learn to be successful in the future. The point is, no matter what pathway you take, whether it's liberal arts, whether it's politics and public service, whether it's criminal justice and law or education, your destination will be the same. Success and leadership in the 21st century. 